Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you an unboxing and first look of the first uh, three knives from the new uh, APTA Modern Slip Joint series knives that Rough Rider uh, just released. So I was really really surprised that they finally made uh, something like, like a series of, uh, of the knives that we could had uh, a glimpse that uh, they prepared mostly uh, if you know uh, the Rough Rider portfolio on my channel uh, there are few knives like uh, like this uh, trapper in aluminium that uh, were no part of any specific series or like also this one uh, this is way back with VG10 and uh, aluminium scale so now finally we are getting a dedicated series and uh, uh, these are really interesting so my uh, dealer my uh, my preferred uh, knife uh, retailer got them in stock so I bought them all of them to uh, check out what they are um, offering in this also this is price point and also uh, some new materials that were not previously uh, available so there so I have here uh, first so let's uh, see the, the presentation so um, they done a specific box to this one so it is not a magnetic closure and uh, we have also a pouch like nowadays uh, most uh, known and reputable uh, knife brands do like CVV, uh, Senkat and so on so the first one that I picked here is the is the model number uh, RR2286 so this is a titanium version or well, titanium scales frame and I forgot to mention one small but important detail that uh, they went the route like uh, Berker Plus does and they give you a dedicated uh, Torx bit of it uh, two additional screws mostly because they know that uh, if uh, for some reason you strip one then definitely uh, it's good to have to have spare parts so let's put uh, this aside for a little bit so now I would like to I will open this up and it has a really great walk and talk so now uh, let me show you the the whole range just to introduce you into the up the series so First we have the most premium one, what I will call it, the titanium one. Then there is a micarta one with a nice Warncliffe blade, which sadly is not one of these two, but hopefully in the future I will have the opportunity to get one. Then we have two uh, with copper, one with the same spade blade and one with the razor blade. This one will be included. And there is also one razor uh, blade with um, brass and also we have uh, aluminium with this two-tone um, black and red uh, finish plus uh, we have a drop point blade. So total six are introduced. Maybe there will be more in the future, who knows. I will certainly uh, will be uh, very uh, lucky if I can get all of them in my collection but uh, who knows so but in this video I'll be showing you the this will be the the 2283 it should be the copper one with the razor blade I guess it is And then, of course, the last one, the 2284, which is the brass one. And maybe a little note to Rough Rider or Smoky Mountain Nightworks, uh, to be more specific. Uh, you don't need to do this with these uh, pouches. Uh, nobody will probably uh, need them anyway, so uh, you can definitely save up on costs. So. Yeah, just make uh, your standard uh, magnetic box and uh, you will be golden okay so let me open this up and uh, let's talk about these three beauties here on the table so 
Mostly uh, when I am talking about or showing uh, new Rough Riders, you will have some kind of uh, even my carta or or um, or bone or so on. So with these three, we have completely new uh, materials introduced into the series. So like I mentioned, this one is in uh, titanium, so it is uh, significantly lighter than obviously copper and brass. And they will also feature uh, really the, almost the same dimension. So I measured them and they uh, maybe there is one of ten of a millimeter difference. So let me give you the specifications uh, right now. So we have a overall length of 16.7 centimeters, that is 6.6 .6 inches. We have a blade length of 7 centimeters, that is 2.7 inches. Uh, the width of the blade is 1.9 centimeters with all of three of them, that is uh, 0 0.7 inches. The thickness is 2.7 millimeters, that is 0 0.1 inch, and the handle is 9.6 centimeters or 3.8 inches, with a thickness of 1.1 uh, centimeter, which is uh, 0 0.4. The titanium version is completely smooth and has a really, really nice stone washed uh, finish on it with this uh, faux uh, bolster look. Like we have in included the torch bit, these are not pinned but uh, screwed together, so really great stuff. You can disassemble them and clean them if you like. On the blade, uh, we should have a VG10. I had the information from my uh, uh, retailer at the at the time when I when I bought them. I could not find any information on the internet, so uh, I went that uh, to this point. These are uh, a VG10, and uh, just to be sure, let me check also on the the website if the websites. If the website has uh, this information so because if these are VG10 there then they are really definitely stepping up the game with these right, so yes indeed so the titanium uh, version one has a uh, VG10 steel let me just really quickly double check uh, with the with the brass and copper one as far as uh, the description goes on the website because I have no uh, way to, to check if uh, uh, the blade is uh, VG10 or not and it takes a little bit more time so so yes indeed uh, uh, the blade material is uh, a VG10 also on uh, these two so probably all of them will have the, the same steel okay so now Let's talk about uh, the uh, the blade uh, uh, shapes that they chosen. So uh, usually we have this uh, curved jack style or uh, also uh, similar to a lenis clip. They could go with a uh, lenis clip style uh, blade, so clip point. But for some reason they went with this uh, modified, uh, probably spay blade or modified sheep's foot or even reverse tanto. So yeah, really interesting. Uh, with the with the razor one, that is self-explanatory. This is a razor blade uh, style uh, pattern, and also with the uh, we did this one. So we have a really nice satin finish. Uh, these are very very really nicely made. So for uh, these two, we have some um, uh, milling that. Uh, should maybe uh, replicate uh, some kind of uh, jigging style which we have on their bone uh, version of uh, knives they produce we, they will feature also this uh, this faux bolster uh, uh, parts right here so these are completely uh, slabs of the the copper and brass here and uh, we have a on the pivot assembly we have some probably bronze uh, washers also on the titanium one okay so the uh, the weight on these uh, let me share this information right now we can really continue with the more uh, details so on the titanium we have a really nice 85.6 grams which is uh, three ounces 
on the uh, brass one we have 142 uh, grams or 5 ounces and on the copper one we have 147.3 grams or 5.2 ounces so let me uh, show you the, the sharpness out of the box on these okay so yeah i feel a little bit uh jaggedness to the to the edge so definitely this could this could benefit from a strop but uh, as you can see this is a really thin paper they're using so uh the razor one is really nice and, and sharp and also this one yeah scary sharp even so vg10 will uh take a really nice uh, nice edge and also if you choose so you can definitely uh, polish this out to a mirror finish if you like because vg10 can be polished out i had it done in the, the past on uh, one of my spiderco uh, uh, endura so it is possible for opening we have a long pull implemented on one side as far as uh, uh, information is on the blade itself so we have the model number uh, china and uh, nothing else so this is uh, really really interesting i don't know if this is uh, because uh, this is a let's say a first uh, run or first batch but uh, for some reason they have no information that these are rough rider knives so if this was sold in just let's say a a bag or a uh, not uh, specific box you will not know that these are rough riders so uh i'm definitely they uh they have a let's say a higher end or custom feel to it without all those unnecessary billboarding but yes uh i'm just asking a question that uh, why they did not put any kind of rough rider logo anywhere so usually if you if you know about rough riders for example this was one uh, of the denny my carter series you will have slanted R uh, bolsters, you will have tank stamps, uh, double R, Rough Rider underneath, and yeah, so on, so on. So you can you can definitely know that these are Rough Riders. So for some reason, they uh, did not uh, waste time or maybe effort, or maybe they wanted to keep the cost down, which is uh, always good. So now uh, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the, the, the price, because uh, the price is a really, uh, important factor with all of these let's say value budget oriented knives rough rider makes some really crazy crazy value for your money so definitely you can buy a beautiful knife for around 16 dollars these are a little bit more pricey uh, as you can see uh, we have titanium we have brass copper so these uh, let me give you the, uh, the the pricing so will cost uh, uh, 26.99 or 17.99 in the, the spread because it is uh, depending on the material used so the the cheapest one will be the aluminium one uh, with the with the drop point and uh, the most expensive one will be the titanium the 26.99 uh, the copper uh, and the brass will be 24.99 so these are uh, the prices that I could found on Smoky Mountain Knifers. If you are shopping in uh, Europe, then uh, you can go to your favorite Rough Rider dealer. It should be uh, by now in stock. For uh, me personally, uh, I bought these from Couturelli Tourangel from France. So the, the titanium was uh, the titanium one is listed at 62 dollars, 62 euros. But this is uh, by now equivalent with dollars and. Uh, the copper one is uh, 40 and the brass is uh, 39 so yes uh, they will be about more than double the price but this is how uh, the economy functions we have to pay taxes import fees and so on but even at those price point i will be certainly uh, can recommend these they have a really great walk and talk so uh, sometimes when i when I talk about uh, these uh, features on a knife, I omit the, to say that uh, if you have the pull uh, from, uh, let's say, 5 or 6 up to 10, which 10 is a nail buster, so you will have definitely a really hard time to open the blade. 
and you have really hard to pinch it and be very careful not to slip. Five is the, for me personally, is the sweet spot. Five means you can casually pinch the blade and open it up, even with a slippery uh, uh, hand. So if you're sweating and or uh, uh, doing some maybe work and yes, your your uh, hands are wet, then definitely you, you need a, a lower uh, pull uh, rate to, to open it. With the, with the long pull, you can definitely also use your fingernails if you have one and these are breeze to open and they achieved this with all of them so maybe because they dialed in the spring tension to a really a sweet spot in my opinion this will be really enjoyed by the community by everybody who invests in this and buy one definitely if you have one uh, let me know what you think about this because uh yeah they have just a slide of a play, but yeah, keep in mind, these are uh, budget-oriented uh, knives, so the tolerances are not uh, so specific like on a custom high-end, but definitely no problems. 90 degree half-stop, excellent, probably uh, probably one of the best things that Rough Rider could do, that they implemented after a certain year to every model, the half-stop, so, and yeah, the positive closure, the snappiness, Perfect. I, I try to, uh, I will try to also open uh, this knife in uh, in front of a microphone. You can see the the sound of it. So check it out. So I hope this uh, will go through. And yes. Okay, what to talk more about this? So uh, let me give you a few size comparisons so, so that you can see the uh, the differences in size. So here is a half hawk, uh, which is from the uh, from one of the previous uh, series with the uh, black uh, micarta. Uh, here one is the previous uh, two models with uh, aluminium. If you're interested, this should be still available. This is model number 2107. Comes also in a uh, blue anodization. And this nice sway back comes uh, also in a uh, different uh, blade shape. And it is the model 2202. Okay, now since I mentioned the, the Lenny's clip in the start of the video, uh, I just realized that I have really, really uh, insufficient Lenny's clip in my collection. So this is one, what I would call a Lenny's clip pattern. You can see it has a pronounced curvature to the frame and a nice clip point blade. This is uh, from Brother Nice. Uh, the model 1509 and I don't know what's going on and why uh, because don't get me wrong uh, Rough Rider gives us so many different patterns uh, that uh, I, I have not counted them all <laughs> but but for some reason they do not have a Lenny's clip in the offering so I hope this will change in the future so this is what it is for now you can you can uh, you can check out the brother and hopefully I will get one more on this clip in a short, uh, in the near near uh, future. So this is uh, the similar uh, curved jack frame. This is a treble lock from Case. This is a uh, triple R Barlow, so Rough Rider Reserve. is a small or a small or, or medium a medium stockman and here we have the the nail busting <laughs> classic uh, green micarta series full stainless steel uh, full size or normal uh, stockman is for comparison there is also a jumbo version that Rough Rider produces. 
is one of my favorites, the Peanut from Rough Rider. And it takes a stew to pick. And not to keep this video too long, I will give you just a few modern uh, knives. So this is the Cryptilian Mini Bug Vintage Select Small Brett Model 2. Spider Codelica, and let's close it down with the K Bar Dozer Folding Hunter. So, I hope you excuse this uh, longer uh, first look format. Uh, usually, these videos I try to keep them uh, at around uh, 15 to 17 minutes, but uh, basically, uh, this is 3 for 1, so you save a little bit of time and uh, you can see more knives on the table. So hopefully in the future I can get also the rest of the series to, to complete the collection because in my opinion these are really uh, well worth uh, the money. In the end it is completely up to you if you choose to, to get some and uh, experience uh, it for yourself. I strongly uh, recommend because uh, yes, there is something new uh, from Rough Rider, new materials. If you would like to, to uh, deep, uh, deepen your collection, your traditional knives, with some modern flares, modern materials, then definitely uh, the the 2286 uh, titanium is uh, the way to go. Probably, if I should by now should pick one winner, for me it will be probably this one or the spear point version with this uh, red and black uh, color scheme. Okay, so it will be set. I wish, you, I wish you a wonderful day. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. And if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And I uh, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon.